Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? This is the new, brand new, very heavy edition of Galaxy Trucker from Check Games Edition, otherwise known as CGE. This is a new version of the classic tile-laying, ship-building, disaster aversion board game in a smaller format, a smaller box, and a much lower price point. So thanks for that, CGE. I also do want to thank CGE for sending me a review copy of this game. So I have played Galaxy Trucker many, many times. I am a big fan of the original game. I love building my ship as solid as I can just to watch it get completely destroyed because of asteroids, pirates, and other things along the way. And always picking up cargo cubes that don't actually fit because that section of my ship already blowed up. Tons of fun. So this is the latest edition. Um, I'm going to eventually be comparing this to the original edition, but right now I'm going to open up the box for the first time because I want to see what's different. I want to see what this looks like compared to the other. So, Corporation Incorporated, the transgalactic leader in sanitation, invites you to join our elite team of galaxy truckers. Build a spaceship, spaceship from our finely crafted sewer pipes and fly it across the galaxy. Collect rewards, dodge meteors, fight enemies. Become a galaxy trucker today. This is a sci-fi board game for two to four players, ages eight plus. Plays in about 30 minutes. I would say possibly longer than that unless they change the rules. Uh, my games tend to go a little longer, but then we start interacting and talking and laughing and having a lot of fun in the middle of the game and taking probably longer than we should. So that's it. Let's take a look at what's in the box. All right, here you have it. My shiny new copy of Galaxy Trucker from Check Games Edition. I just cut the shrink wrap off this box. Um, it is worth noting this is the UK Canadian edition of the game, uh, printing of the game. Right off the bat, I have to say, much smaller box. I appreciate that. Um, the box feels thin. Like, it just feels a little thinner than most board game boxes. And note, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just pointing out. I do like the new artwork that still fits the style of the old artwork. Love the new box size. So, despite being surprisingly heavy, it's not as full as I expected. So, we're going to go with these little things first. Oh, there's definitely some changes. I don't see little tiny chiclet-like power cubes anymore. So we're going to start off with the D6 dice. We have two wooden D6 dice with inset golden pips. Nice set of dice. No complaints there. We have a sand timer. It's been a long time since I played Galaxy Trucker. I'm going to guess it's a it's a two or three minute sand timer. Um, could use a little buff down. It's a little it's a little you know it's been rubbed around in the box, but nothing wrong with this. What I do dig is a lot of these coming in newer games have like fancy things in the end that actually make them hard to stand up. This is a nice flat, no reason that wouldn't stand up. We'll put that in the corner. We have extra baggies. Always appreciate extra baggies in my game. Thank you, CGE. Now we have cubes. Cubes are new. I am assuming, uh, no, no, we always had cubes. That's right, there were always cubes for the different types of cargo. My guess is that energy is now being represented by a cube instead of the little chiclet-like places. So these are um, plastic, and they're, um, what do you call that? Marbleized, kind of? But they've got, they've got a, a texture to them. They're, they're not just clear and see-through. You get a whole bunch of red and blue, which should be different cargo types. And then these are actually larger cubes. Are they? Oh, it's close. All right. Possibly larger? Let's look. Let's compare. Got to find out now. So we have yellow and green cubes. And I think it was an optical illusion that those were larger to me. My new glasses are messing with me. No, they're the same size. All right, so here's your four different types of cubes. Plus, they already come in their own baggie. As far as I'm concerned, that's good enough. Nothing so far. Like, these are different cubes, but I'm not seeing, like, these don't seem to be worse quality, smaller. It doesn't look like things are shrunken down. I do see some improvements right away here. Um, so we have the player pieces, which are these ships. And it looks like they've done some work to make the green more colorblind friendly compared to the red. It's not a dark green. It's more of a light green. And there are two of each of these. One for keeping track of your score and one for placing on planets when you explore them. And then we have aliens. The aliens. So I know there are only two aliens. So those are the aliens that are in the base game. Does not include the expansion aliens. I do not know if there's an expansion coming for these. 
So we have our aliens. Then we're going to have tons of little crew. So far, I am not seeing any diminished quality here at all. All right, the crew, which have always been awesome. We'll just grab one and hopefully I can not lose it. Little tiny spacemen trying to get that. My focus isn't quite on it. It's a little, it's, it's white and it's bright in here. Little tiny spacemen that you put all over your ship. I've seen some people do amazing stuff with markers on these to give them little expressions and so on. Then we have a deck of cards, as expected. Uh, it does have a quick release, uh, get it out of the packaging thing, and I hate these, and I'm just going to grab my knife. Okay, we have sector cards for one, two, and three. That's what we should have here. One, two, and three. Let's slide this over for a second. I have no idea how the distribution here is. I don't recognize that from the base game, but that could be me. Um, we've got Stardust. There are planets. This looks the same with the different things. So yeah, the green cubes must be energy. Oh no, they're cargo. Maybe they don't have anything that requires energy. That would be very interesting. Open space. Looks like the iconography is slightly different, but cleaned up. We got meteor swarms, more planets, open space, and so on. Slavers that you can pay off, abandoned ships, and so on. Honestly, I, I would literally have to grab my copy of the game and start comparing them. Sector 2, where things become more deadly, there's more powerful pirates. But the rewards might be better. Finding abandoned ships and so on. Like I said, I don't recognize that. Epidemic, I, I, like, did they have text on them before? I don't remember. You'd have to probably look up what those do. And the Sector 3 cards. Going to be more of the same, right? Very little open space, very tough things, but planets with lots of resources on them, and so on. Iconography looks really clear. Artwork where it's there is pretty awesome. A huge bag, I'm assuming, for all the tiles. Now we get to the rules. So again, I just want to point out the, the box quality here. You can kind of see it's bowing. Also, you can see it's kind of peeling up in the corner here. So they just like kind of put an overlay on here. I might tape that down so it doesn't get damaged pulling things in and out. So we have the rules. Now I will say, oh, nice. Also a quick reference guide. But first, the rules. If you have not read the rules for Galaxy Trucker, I don't care if you're never going to play the game. Read this rule book just because it's hilarious. The writing in this book is some of the best I've ever seen. Now I still see power centers, so there's still batteries. Okay, I do see there's supposed to be battery tokens. I did not see any battery tokens unless, oh, here we go. There they are, chiclets. So let's grab these. These haven't changed. I actually expected these to have changed. I thought these would be plastic. These are little tiny glass oblongs that we think look like, everyone call them chiclets, but I think Tic Tacs, sorry, Tic Tacs. Um, little tiny glass things that look kind of like clear Tic Tacs. So a whole bunch of those. Well. Whole bunch of those. Now life makes more sense to me. I am surprised this component didn't change. I, I would have figured this would have been something they would have replaced with cubes. All right, jumping back to that rule book. So we have shields, shield generators, control housing units, modular central housing units. Looks like just the base game. I am not seeing any of the interesting alien um, technologies or anything here, so. That's a helpful, that's actually really nice, actually. That's a component overview on how many of each are even in the game. Um, then we have how to build your first ship, tons of artwork here, what the various different cargo containers do and things you can put on your ship, how to prepare for launch, how a flight works, the different cards you can run into with a full description of how each works, and how to win the game. That is 15 pages of rules, followed by additional shipbuilding rules, because this gets into the first time you play, and then they go into more difficult game rules. So different, how the aliens work, new cards that are added, and so on. Um, I do the transgalactic track, I assume is you play multiple, you play through three flights, which is a full game to me. Yeah, three flights, so that hasn't changed. And then the Rough Roads expansion is actually mentioned here. So I'm, I'm guessing you can probably follow the link to get the Rough Roads expansion. Then we have a quick reference guide. It gives you how the setup and a reference for the cards and the iconography at the bottom. This is a nice touch. This was not in the original. Even better, what all the different components do. Which you're going to figure out after your first game, but it's nice to have. 
Then we have an advertisement for some other great games. This is the big one they're pushing. Lost Ruins of Arnak. Uh, but a whole other awesome Czech Games Edition games. So I see there is a Galaxy Trucker Digital. Then we have the different boards. So one of the things that did change is based on your difficulty, you are going to change the board you're using. So I'm not sure what this little symbol is. It might be what types of things you can find in space. So that's a different change in iconography. Um, so there's two sides to this blue one and then there is the purple one and the red one for the different difficulty levels and then what is adding all the weight to this look at this look at all that that's a lot of nice thick cardboard even better these are all two-sided so if i flip it this way it's more impressive right because look they're multiple in between here they're they're like folded look at all that cardboard so quickly go through this so again everything's two-sided these are interesting looking. I don't recognize those at all. So that might be something new. Uh, and money tiles. And of course, shipbuilding tiles. So the money tiles are actually, like the artwork's all changed, but just not a lot. Still very clear for anyone who knows the original game. Money tiles. And a whole bunch of lasers and some thrusters. Bunch more thrusters and some tubing. Cargo storage, including hazardous goods storage. Batteries, batteries and engines that take them. And hab units, so the ones for the, the player, the four different players, and then other places you store stuff. Then we have the level one player boards with the other side. Wow, these are the, okay, these, unless. Okay, there we go. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is a change. So you have your level one ship you fly. Then your second ship, and what they did for the third ship now is it folds out, which it doesn't want to fold out. Oh, because it pulled the wrong way. It folds out for your big ship. That's a nice way to do it. That's well designed. And we have four of those for the four players. So none of the variant ships. So that is something that's not in here that was in the original were some variant uh, patterns for building your ship on. So that's it. That's what you get in Galaxy Trucker. I'm going to shove it all back in here. We'll be doing some punching later tonight to get everything into baggies. Put the rules. So one thing to watch for is the little bag of uh, battery power-up cubes. A little hard to see. What I am going to do is I am going to grab one of these bags right now to toss these cards in so they don't slide all over the place. Looks good. Looks like Galaxy Trucker. So the fact you are getting the entire base game in a small box at a much better price is awesome. There you have what you get in the box for Galaxy Trucker from CGE. That's what you get in the box for the new 2021 edition of Galaxy Trucker. This is brand new out from Czech Games Edition just this year. As far as I can tell, it is a reprint of the original game in component-wise, the exact amount of detail, the Gameplay looks to be the same, though there may be some new elements, but the component quality is identical to the original game. So despite the fact this comes in a smaller box and it is at a much better price point, you're still getting just as good a quality of stuff in the box. You got lots of cards. It looks like they clarified the iconography quite a bit. They do give an additional um, reference sheet, which is a nice touch, as well as some reference cards. This looks fantastic. If you don't own Galaxy Trucker, I would rush out and buy this. Fantastic real-time game, building spaceships, flying through space, and hoping your ship survives, and hoping you built it well. If you have the original game, I'm not sure if this would be worth upgrading. This doesn't seem to be an upgrade, but rather a replacement. Now, of course, going forward, I will be taking a look at this game and playing it and reviewing it. When I do, then I'll really let you know if it's worth picking this up if you already own the original. So that's it for my look at Galaxy Trucker 2021 edition from Czech Games Edition. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And you can find my webpage at tabletopbellhop.com. If you like podcasts and listening, watching podcasts, you can also check out the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Uh, we have episodes up on YouTube, and you can find us on our podcatcher of choice if you prefer to just listen.
Now, the main thing we do is answer your questions. So if you do have a question for the bellhop, you can send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or go to my webpage I mentioned earlier and click on Ask the Bellhop. As always, I do have to ask if you appreciate this video and like to see more videos from myself and more stuff from my co-host Sean and I, you can also head to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. That's it for me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good night and game on.